All right, we're back. Circling Back Podcast coming to you live from the Lodge. My name's Will DeFreeze. My right, David Carter Ruff. Short week, but still podcast week. Really? We don't even have a full week, dude. I didn't even get a notification this time. That's ruthless. I know, but it is what it is. And by that, I mean it is podcast week. I like podcasts. You might as well do some freaking podcasts, eh? That's what we're doing right now. What'd you do differently? Did you trim your facial hair? It looks shorter. Yeah, Something's up. I think Dylan Shivery came in with a little snip no, snip. I got it when I got a haircut last week and I I trimmed. I mean, nothing nothing crazy. You got some wild boy grays coming out of that goatee. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. I'm jealous, dude. Oh, can you yeah. See, can, okay. you see my, can you see my gray you're in my allowed, mustache? You're not allowed to say you're jealous of anyone's facial hair. Yeah, I am. That, no, you are privileged and you can't say shit like that. No, I'm a 9 out of 10. Uh, my beard's a 9 out of 10. A 10 out of 10 it would be if it had a significant amount of gray or white in it. It's like Bezos being like, oh, I'm so jealous of your like brand new Toyota Camry. No, because he's the richest dude in the world. I'm not, I don't have the best beard in the world. It, I mean, you're, you're tier one. You're, you're, a, you're up there. You know, I, I had a dream two nights ago that I was like looking in the mirror and I had a, not a full beard, but my beard, but it was very, very gray. And I was like, dude, I like, I was like, my beard just overnight turned dude, gray. And it was, was I was sick. like excited about it. And then I woke up and I had a fucking mustache. It was not gray. The mustache is coming in nice though. Like if we're doing a status report on your mustache, I'm very happy with the progress here. I mean, it's not, yeah, this is, I've, I've been trimming it. This is where it's going to be. This is as good as it'll get. I noticed you took it up a little bit. Yeah, Which, yeah, yeah. It started a handlebar. That was a good move. It looks I don't better. Like, I don't like the handlebar. I didn't notice that. I'm sorry. Yeah, handlebars. It, it says like, yeah, I'm looking for a bar fight. You're just there to drink, with that with that mustache. Yeah, that's the difference. Just there to drink. Drink or get in a kiss fight. And steal your girl. You know. Dave has a wife. He doesn't need to steal any girls. I'm just saying that's the look. He's he's, he's a child on the way, Dylan. He's not stealing girls right now. Okay, Come calm on. down, everybody. <laughs> Plus, I don't even really go to bars. You know. Look, I think you are taking this a little bit too literally. It was just a, I was just trying to make a, a little joke. Maybe like your 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 outdoor patio at your uh, moderate, wel- reasonably priced restaurant. Oh, I thought you met at my house. I was gonna say you're welcome anytime, but no, that too. I'll whip your ass on your patio. I don't know why you would do that. I think we're, we're it's friends. It's the mustache. We're friends. Sorry. And, yeah. You go over to have a beer with Dylan, and he just Dave just walks out the door, and you're just laying there, just like hurting on your patio. That'd be a tough look for you. I What's he hurting? Why he would do that. What? What's he hurting? He's just holding his knee like, oh, oh. He's not like hurting cattle. This hurts. I brought, I brought some tacos <laughs> here this morning, and Parks was with me. And uh, he was like, what if Dave steals one of my tacos? And I was like, I was like don't worry, man. I'll just Good. whip his ass. He's learning. He goes, okay. Well, I said beat him up. I, don't, I didn't say ass. He was telling me about his new triceratops. And he was telling me his last name is Shivery. Mm-hmm. And, uh. I tried to convince Parks that his last name wasn't Shivery, that Dude. his last name was Chicken Butt. He didn't believe me. He's like, no, it's not. Everyone in my family is, is, is Shivery. And I was like, no, you're you're Parks Chicken Butt. He didn't believe me. He can spell his first and middle name. He can't spell his last name yet. Yeah, because no it's, one can. It's, fr- no one. it's freaking weird. The name? My last name, yeah. You know, you know what the Triceratops name is? Was it like Brian or something? Steve Horns is what he named him. That's a great name. Steve Horns. I'm like, dude, you crushed that. That's awesome. It's I had perfect. to spell your name this weekend, and I absolutely knocked it out of the park. Did you? Yeah. There's no excuse for us not being able to spell it. We hear it. We used to hear him like say his handle every day. C-H-E-V-E-R-E. E-R-E-R-E. E-R-E-R-E. E-R-E. Yeah, it's like the uh, old, Mac- old McDonald song. Had a farm. E-I-E-I-O, except it's E-R-E-R-E at the end. That's how you know how many E's you're supposed to do. Is that how you learned it? I remember being a kid and being like, okay, there's a, a connection there. I did, that's not how I learned it, but I made the connection early on. Because, you know, the, the song cadence. was popular when you're five. Oh, yeah, dude. It's, so a, it's, like, a, yeah, it's, it's one, it's like one of the name. top hits. Yeah. Too many E's, man. It's the, no mo, one, it's no the mo, needs, mo Bamba of being five. No one needs that many E's. Dude, who played Old McDonald? Old McDonald was a banger. Is a banger. I got, hey. No? What? I was doing Old McDonald, but in the style of Mo Bamba. Instead of having hoes, I had hay. Do you get it? Yeah. He Actually, hoes would work, technically. Mama E-R, E-R. Uh-oh. E- Nelly. Yeah. We're doing a lot. How's everyone feeling this week? It's Christmas week. Yeah. 
It's podcast week as well. It's sad boy season. No, it's not. It's sad boy it's season. It's literally not sad boy season. Yeah, it really sad is. Sad boy season starts January 1st. No, it already started for your boy. No, dude. <laughs> yeah. Dude, come on. It's Christmas no, week. It's also podcast we're week. We're making it we're making it through. Even though I got to I have to go the next four days without without the homie. We'll make it through. We got this. Dude, I got plenty of time. We we gotta swing sticks. If we don't swing sticks, I'm, we're I'm, swinging sticks. It's over for your boy. We're swinging we sticks. Okay. Promise. Uh let's get some let's get some official business out of the way. I'm gonna make it quick today. Go follow Circling Back Pod and Wash Media on the Grom. Add me on the Grom. Mm-hmm. Listen to him. Listen to our. Is that Little Esco? Who no. is that? No, no, no. Little Esco's. But you know, Little Esco is back. What? I didn't know that he went away. That dude has ten times the swag as Little Esco. I didn't. Why did Little Esco go away? Uh, he just fell off of my radar. So technically, he's back just to me. Yeah. He said he's trying to get flipped. What him claws? At? He was overexposed. Like he, there was too much Little Esco at one point, and then people got kind of sick of him. I think so. He had to go into hiding, which was probably a smart PR play. There are some like notable people on the internet that like, just give me anxiety just by their existence, and he's one of them. Yeah, Cole Campbell's in there too, but yeah, but he's a different breed. Remember he got in he's that built uh, different. He got in that vehicle and he said, "I'm about to whip this hoe," and he just did like a donut. And everybody's like, "Oh, that's tight." Damn. I I got I went down a little Esco wormhole last night. Is he old enough to drive? Yeah, he's he's aged like he looks like he's like 17 now. Yeah, the video that you sent was very interesting. He, I didn't recognize. He, he, he ages like a movie star. You know how like there's a kid in movie no. who's like twelve and then like two uh, weeks later he's like he's married with three kids. Well isn't that yeah. why they like, like what happened? That's why they made all like the they pretty much made like every Harry Potter movie like breaking child labor laws to make sure that they could get him in before these kids looked like full blown adults. Yeah. I don't know what movie it was, but the one where they have like all the long hair, it's just fucking terrible. Cut your hair. I've never seen those. Dude, come on, they slap. You should do that for the next like week. Nah. Why? I'll it's it too much you. of an undertaking. Uh-huh. And people are like, the books are so good. You got to read the books, too. No, you don't. I'm not reading the books, man. Don't read the books. It's, it's either it, one or the <laughs> other. It's going to take me six <laughs> years. I'm not to, reading the books, It's going to take me six years to read that series. You see how, how thick those those fucking books are? They're big. Yeah. But they, they got they got some, like, one and a half spacing on that They're shit, thick though. They're boys, Yeah, man. but it's not, like, small font and stuff. I'm not, I'm not going to dedicate a significant chunk of my life to Harry Potter. You know what I mean? It's not. I've decided I might jump into The Mandalorian. Oh, man, the gas at the Mandalorian was getting I, all weekend was insane. I've somehow avoided spoilers, and I was like, dude, I want to be in on this. I almost just watched the finale yeah. of season two just to understand what everybody was freaking out about. Yeah, we uh, – I mean, I've been on the I've been on the edge. I watched, I, I watched the, first the first episode. Yeah, I did too, and I enjoyed it. So now I it's like, it was okay, good. I guess I have to watch it now. But now I, do I have to rewatch that first episode? Like, Yeah, oh, we do. Damn it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just too much. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know how official business got taken this direction, but I don't hate it. Dylan's over here talking about his name or some shit. It's a cool name, dude. Let's just skip ahead. You know what we're doing? Patreon this week? Tell me. Since Friday's Christmas, we're dropping voices tomorrow. No one expected all you people that sitting to there, All you people sitting there at your desk right now, get psyched. Wow. Yeah. We're dropping them early tomorrow morning, so just look out for that. And then uh, we're doing Bachelorette on Wednesday. It might be available for consumption on Tuesday night immediately following the Bachelorette. We have a special guest coming on on, uh, on the podcast to enjoy with us, but are we keep an eye out. Keep an eye out. We're not doing that live, right? No. Okay. It's Patreon content day. We can't just give it out for free. Dog. That's fair. I thought about that, too. I went down that wormhole. But, yeah, we're going to be doing both of those episodes. And then next week we'll be doing listener voicemails. And then we'll be back after the new year with uh, a regular schedule, including Bachelor content with Bachelor Mike. Is that his name, Mike? I don't know his name. With Tyler's hot friend. Tyler's hot, yeah, the hot fellow that hangs out with Tyler. Mm-hmm. The other hot guy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we'll be doing that. Very excited about that. Should we do this weekend in fun, recapping it? Sure, if you want to. This week it's presented by Postmates. If you're like me, you start thinking about what to eat for dinner while you're still eating lunch. First thing I did when I left the house this morning was, hey, I went, Sally, what are we doing for dinner tonight? She's like, well, you haven't even had breakfast yet. I know, but I'm built different. I think about this all the time because of Postmates. I love food, but sometimes getting into my kitchen and cooking something delicious just doesn't make it on my to-do list, which is why I've been loving Postmates. With Postmates, you can get food delivered without leaving the house or even opening your front door. With the current state of the world in mind, Postmates created no contact deliveries. So when you order from local restaurants, everything gets left right at your doorstep, and the app lets you know that it's been delivered. That's huge for the squad. Contact, please. Don't touch me. No, I'm, we're not doing contact right now. Mm-hmm. No. Unless it's kissing the homies. Yeah. Get away. Unless it's mouth kissing the boys. Then mm-hmm. No. Postmates offers a pickup option as well. You can order takeout from your favorite local restaurants from that too. 
It's important that we support and uplift the communities right now. So what better way than doing this by ordering some food? And Postmates isn't all just sushi and burgers. You can order anything from toilet paper to phone chargers from stores like Walgreens, 7-Elevens. And a Postmate will drop it off right outside your front door. <clears throat> just download the app on iOS or Android, find your favorites, and get anything you want delivered within the hour. For a limited time, Postmates is giving our listeners $5 off your first five orders for your first seven days. To save $5 on your first five deliveries, download the app and use code CIRCLING. That's code CIRCLING for $5 off your first five orders when you download the Postmates app or sign up online. Anything you need, anytime you need it, just Postmate it. Dylan, what did you do this weekend, dude? Thank you for asking. I was over here trying to remember what I did on Friday. It's a time of year when uh, days and weeks just kind of run together for me. Mm -hmm. Let's get them all mixed Mm -hmm. up. But Friday, I didn't do anything. I just chilled, which was ideal. Uh, Got the homie back from his mom, and uh, we got up super early Saturday and drove out to the ranch to see some family. Uh, We did the whole, like, present thing out there. It's the only time we could all get together with that part of the family. So we, we, we did the whole Christmas thing out there. Got to see the fam. Got to do presents, had a nice big thanks, or Thanksgiving, Christmas dinner. Dude, what'd was, you scoot? It was tight. Uh, I, I, so I think my sister, Haley is her name, I think she got tired of coming over to my house and seeing my, like my bachelor kitchen set up, mm-hmm. like a bachelor style. Like I have like my plates and my George pans Foreman and grill. my silverware, all that stuff. It's just. Do you have like reusable like utensils in your, in your silverware drawer? I have like decent stuff, but I don't have like full sets of stuff. Mm-hmm. And that's partly because when when then I split with Dallas, like we just split everything, and so my, my stuff it wasn't like super nice, and also I had like I was just missing some stuff. My pans were trash, as you can probably imagine. Yeah, they were. Yeah. So I got new pans. I don't have to imagine. I know. I got new dishes. I got new silverware. Damn! Did you I get any china? New, I got baking dishes. What kind of china? Chickadee china. china? The china. Chinese chicken? Uh, I, I didn't get any china. Did you get a drumstick? <laughs> <laughs> Mark that, Randy. <laughs> fucking guy didn't get China. I didn't get China. <laughs> don't, don't mark that. That's not China. It's not entertaining. And that's pretty I much it. That. I capped off the uh, the weekend by getting two dubs last night in Warzone. Wow. <laughs> no one saw that coming. One in Quaz, one in Solo. No big deal. The Chopper was singing last night, Will. You have no idea. I was still a kilo boy. Everybody knows that. I was just okay. I was just laying them down. What's a kilo boy? I was just oh. laying them Did down, Did it say dude. it was a top boy? What? No. What? <laughs> I don't know what that means. But, yeah, I'm just trying to get through sad boy season. We're, we're doing it. It's not sad boy season. It's definitely sad boy season. It's rude boy season. Rude boy. Um, the name we were looking for was Matt. It's Matt James is the new Bachelor. Matt. Not Mike. I knew it wasn't Mike because I, I think I, I knew it was a generic M name. You thought it was Mike Jones? Who? No, it's <laughs> definitely not Mike Jones. I don't think they would make him the Bachelor. <laughs> It'd be a weird move. First round draft picks coming soon. What's Mike Jones up to? Who? Huh? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Please. Oh, all right. That's my. That concludes my weekend. I caught that dub with Dylan last night in quads. It was a fun really? one, man. This, you guys were mobbing last we night. We were slaying, dude. dude I was. Dude, that's epic. I'm not good with the sniper, but I was making magic with it last night. Really? Dave yeah, was, I, Dave I was putting them down. I, I must have not gotten the invite. I dome some dudes. Dude, we were calling them headshot by the end of the game. Why didn't I get an invite for this? Oh man, we must have just we couldn't find you. We must have been busy. Yeah, this is not oh, cross okay. cross platform. Can I take Klein's place next time? Please. <laughs> just kidding, Klein. <laughs> Who's our full? Fo- oh, Zach. Zach, yeah. Dude, Dave day- was Dave was in his bag last night. Fuck. I play a lot better when I'm not um, having a, a booze drink. I learned. Why? Why didn't you have a booze drink last night? I just didn't feel like it. I've been having a nightcap like every night this week. You know why? Because I knew with it being podcast week and short week, holidays, Christmas, uh, next next 14 days might be a lot of that. Yeah. So I'm like, you know what? I'll take, go. I got to take some nights off. I'm going to get one Peloton ride in today that's like a really hard one, hopefully, unless I just get lazy, with the hope that it's just going to last me through the entire holiday season. I'm not doing it every day. I'm just doing mm-hmm. one. Do you think it'll work? No. no. Oh, okay. No, you'd have to really spike that heart. Yeah. 200 beats per minute. I can get spiky. Can you hit 200? No. Hit 174 in a boxing workout yesterday. I hit my top at all time is 187. I don't that's think a that, lot. I don't think that's good. Well, if you saw how hard I was fucking pumping you at the end of my ride out. to hit there's, my PR. But there's like a danger zone. It's like, just like an engine. You I know, Dylan. And I'm in it. I'm just I saying, went. be careful. I don't want you to drop dead, man. I'm sorry. 
Well, well you think I'm just not going to get my heart rate up when I'm trying to get a personal record? I want you to get your heart rate up. I just don't want to get a. I don't want to get that thing pumping too fast. You know. I d- don't talk to me until you fucking have personal records that you're trying to break, dog. Shit. It's- no, I don't mean that. You can still talk to me. No, but I've been plateaued for five years. I've told you that. No more no more PRs for your boy. I've been switching up my strategy. It's not really working on Peloton. My kill jewels are just you trash. You should try blood doping. I'm really sorry to hear that. If if I can start doping in order to get better at my Peloton, then I'm all for it. I asked Sally for some uh, EPO. So yeah, I was like, you're like in the medical industry. Can't you get me some EPO or something so I can just start like really getting my numbers up? I, I got a buddy who got a Peloton after me, and he's just crushing me in his numbers. And it's like, well... I either need to start doing it more or I need Who to start doping. My buddy Jeff. He's absolutely working me. It's embarrassing. Isn't, isn't he very uh, – doesn't he ski very often? Yes, he so does. So he's, he's probably got quads. He's cheeked up. Yeah. He's cheeked up. He's a big guy. Mm-hmm. Big-ish. Yeah, man. It was um, it was a low-key weekend. How about that? How about um, that? My Saturday was just mm-hmm. ultimate ultimate sports guy. <laughs> Just college football. Or late. Oh, no, Friday night. It started Friday night. Triple G fought. Watch that. Saturday, college football. Buddies convinced me, like, hey, let's all – let's bet the over on this Oregon State, Arizona State game. It's the late game. It's an excuse to stay up, have another drink, and just wall track it. So we did. And you know what? The over hit in the third quarter. Congratulations. <laughs> And I am now seventy dollars richer. Whoa. Oh, congratulations! How are you going to spend that? That's generational um, fucking wealth. That's not. I don't discuss that publicly. Okay. But I'll probably buy like Dogecoin or whatever. <laughs> I don't even know what that is, but it sounds tight. Um, yeah. So I did. I really didn't. I don't think I left the house Saturday. We had some furniture delivered. That was cool. What'd you scoop? <clears throat> got a new dresser for our bedroom. Let's go. We got a. Uh, oh, we bu- had to build a. Uh, dresser for the nursery. How'd that go? Alyssa did 95% of it. She was just went to town on it. I was like, you know what? There was like a couple things I had to come in and like and do, but it was it was from uh, Wayfair. There was no no children trafficked with uh Are you sure? With it, yeah, pretty positive. <laughs> How much do you pay for that thing? Maybe you need to call and get it was, recoup that. It was kid not, that was it was not super it. pricey. But putting it together <laughs> trying to get little Luca a brother. <laughs> We don't support human trafficking, Will. Uh, podcast. I just kind of what? Dylan. Shaking Dylan is disgusted right now. Shaking my head. Oh, as of yesterday, I'm officially jogs with dog guy. Oh man, can Randy handle that? Well, we didn't do a, we didn't do like a long distance. We probably did a mile at the most. God. We just went around like the long way around our block. Um, but he was having fun, man. And like if I if I like you know I'm run I'm like always looking to him to see if he's doing okay. If I speed up a little bit, he'll speed up and like try to get ahead of me, which is just funny. And he's just a big he's a big big lad. Yeah, he's a big boy. But yeah, so I don't know how often we're gonna do that. I'm thinking maybe weekly. Just get out, yeah. get the blood flowing. That's good. I'm that guy. St- Stella was chasing chickens all over the ranch Saturday. It's it's become a problem. Weren't you choking chickens all weekend, David? Come on, dude. You're, make, you're talking about masturbation. I'm talking about an actual dog chasing real ass chickens around a ranch. Like, what are you doing? Just fucking asking questions. God. And she got in the horse pen, dude. I'm like Stella. What are you doing? What were the horses doing? They're used to dogs. They don't really like pay much attention to her. But she's flirting with with danger, man. I had to get her out of there. Do she, they? She literally she, crawled like, through it and like got in there. Has she had any cute moments where like they boop noses or anything? No. Oh. No, I won't let it happen. There will it's be a big no boops. animal, man. It is a big animal. Horses? They'd be kicking too, man. You catch one of those those hooves. Do you keep the horses My in hooves. the back? Hit the hit the Seinfeld. Already in the front of the ranch. I got the horses. You get it? I got the horses in the back. <laughs> yeah, I got it, dude. That's no, a sick reference. No, they're just they're just at the at the barn, David. There's a pen for them and shit, and they get to roam around. It's it's just typical, you know, ranch situation. You fucking smart ass. Oh, sorry, I'm not familiar with typical ranch situations, Dylan. I can see Dylan walking around just like humming to himself, like typical ranch situation. Just really enjoying yourself. I don't get that one. No cell phones in sight, just vibes. Horses in the back. You didn't get any grams off, I noticed. 
Yeah, what's with the lack of stories, dude? You're at the ranch on Christmas with your family. I don't like, know why I didn't do a story. Get some stories off, dog. Did you take some dumbass photos? Okay. Any more worth posting? I, I took some of Park's opening presents. Does that qualify as dumb them. in your book? I don't know. You didn't post Fucking them. jerk. Yeah, we'd have to see them. It could be. You dumb. also didn't t- post pictures of your nog. What I said is, Mr. Nog guy? I did, I did. I took a picture and it was like, I don't, this, I mean, this is going to get roasted. So I did. <laughs> <laughs> dude, come on. Let yeah. us rate your nog. No, I don't, no, we don't need that. Did you have like spills down the side and stuff? No, just it just wasn't. It, it just wasn't a, a great looking picture. What'd you mix into it? Did you put nutmeg on the top? What's the deal? I don't like nutmeg. I, I opt <laughs> for no meg. That's just, a first. Uh, just put a little crown in there. Okay. Hey, hot shot. How far could you punt eggnog? That's a good question. Ooh, wow. You know, it's a thick. It's a pretty thick liquid, Dave. So you got to think that it's a thick wood. Uh huh. <clears throat> no one's doing thick wood for amorphous solids. Don't say amorphous solid. Well, it's th- technically thick wood. Answer the question. Dude, I'm tired yeah. of you dodging my questions today. 20 feet. Get to your weekend already, Will. Call you what Ram. You, know, you be dodging what right now. What makes you think that my weekend's over? Your I'm just getting started. Trash, dude. Yeah. Oh, my weekend was super dope. <laughs> I won $70. Actually, well, actually, I was pretty. I was up on the weekend across the board. So Whoa. Look at you. Big, Mr. Big Boy Stacks himself. I, I, you know what? I have become officially I'm an, an angel investor. So if anyone has any anything they'd like me to invest in, let me know. I would like to invest my winnings into your company or whatever it might be, your charitable matter. You gonna you gonna invest seventy dollars into a company? I will I will I will invest you up buy to some stonks with that. A few hundred dollars in your company. Hop in the stonks, dude. Yeah, get some Illyrium. Is that is that what I need to do next? Yeah. Get some some Penn National. I heard they're doing well. According to everyone that I follow on Twitter, I have 15 shares of that. Wow, <laughs> I got that. Pin 15. Did you sell your Wash Media shares to buy Pin? Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah, Dave Portnoy actually has all my equity at this point. Fuck. Yeah, it's not good. He did it just. I feel to, like he did it to bear hug Brett. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's too late to get into Pin. <laughs> He's still fucking with Brett. Yeah, I would love that if, if Portnoy. If Portnoy offered me a buyout of Wash Media at an absurd price just to get back at Brett, like I might have to take it. If Portnoy acquired Wash Media at some point, we would have to ride into his the the deal that you can't fire Brett for like at least five years. Yeah, it's like no, you have to. Yeah, Brett has to be on salary yeah. for X amount of time, and you're also not allowed to email him ever. <laughs> you can't communicate with Brett. Do you guys want to hear my fucking weekend or what? I want to. I need to look more at the stonks. Uh, you do need to please research the get stonks a stonk extensively. or two from Penn. It's too late. I need a time machine to go back to when it was very, very cheap. I know. Time machines would be great for the stock market. <laughs> you got to imagine. Yeah. yeah. Remember in, uh, one of the Back to the Futures when Biff got a hold of the the little uh, oh, baseball the almanac, Atlas, the yeah. Atlas, yeah, or whatever it was. And he knew all the uh, all the scores, Super Bowl winners. Pretty impressive. What would you do with that? I would go back in time and place bets on those teams, and I would become very wealthy in the future. Oh yeah, I guess that's the obvious answer. That'd be a really fun way to do it. <laughs> Just like you could, you could like cherry pick which games you wanted to go to just knowing like that game's gonna be awesome I'm you would have, really you have to lose some this. intentionally just uh, to throw people off but what are they gonna do they can't prove you have to be like dude there's no way you're getting travel. all these right yeah but it's not like it, it's not like you're counting cards like you went back to the future back you get cut off ev- eventually future. like people will stop accepting your bets like this guy never loses i'm not gonna take his wager. that's why you create a, sh- a shell company you bet under that i don't know how that works dave or you just get people to place bets for you. That too. You have a partner. You or like a hundred. This is my son and my partner, HW. Plain view. <laughs> I'm a betting man. <laughs> I'm a gambler. <laughs> I've gambled my son. <laughs> Why does that make I parlayed my boy? It makes Randy laugh every single time. He loves it. It's there's you it's an automatic laugh if you automatic. do it. Automatic. Yeah. Like, I took a live tease. It's not that great. But we do it because of Randy, I think. There will be laughs. This is my platform with live in-game betting. <laughs> You're getting pretty good at that guy, actually. I hedge your pole. <laughs> <laughs> I fade your picks. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, that's ridiculous. Uh, can I can I do my yes. weekend? God, Are you Micah, done, Dylan? Sorry, I'm actually in, in lieu in, in in lieu of doing my weekend. I'm just going to read Micah's read of the week, volume 21, instead. Are you guys oh, cool I just got it. It's journalism. Week. Journal, journalism week. Oh, God. Well, I went to Missouri. Journalism school. Shut up. Yeah, we get it, dude. Uh, I had a wild weekend. Friday, your boy went to Johnson City. 
Ever been there? Tennessee? No. Oh, Texas. Yeah, one, Texas. One yeah. close to Austin. I went that to the makes, Johnson City sense. Lights. They have a lot of lights in Johnson City, apparently. The Johnson City, Tennessee? No. I literally just made that joke, yeah. David. Like, literally. He was looking at the stocks. 15 seconds. Get off his ago. back. No, dude. I, he was looking at the stocks. Did you really? Yeah. I was looking at Micah's Read of the Week. <laughs> I really was. When, when you see that it's journalism week, you you can't help but just get excited for it. Yeah, you just got to write something. Yep. You got to report on something. Oh, hold on, I just got the headline of the week. What What is it? This is something I don't know why we're not talking about. You want to just add this? Creed Scott Stapp has been cast as Frank Sinatra in a Dennis Quaid-led Ronald Reagan biopic. <gasps> I'm so out on that. I'm fine with it. We're dead in my way. That guy can't do Frank Sinatra. We, I haven't we, seen what he looks like. That's really good. Love Sinatra. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Will. Do you, what's your weekend? Yeah, I went and saw the lights. It was lit. Did you take mushrooms? Oh, you, you took Literally. your nieces. No, it would have been dope if I didn't have like nieces there. Mushrooms would have been pretty sick there. Uh, yeah, yeah, we took them. I was a little worried because like... Did they have fun? I'm not great with kids. Did your car still smell? Did they comment on that? No, they actually liked my car a lot. Oh, good. Which was big. Um, but I... Uh, I'm not very good with kids, so, like, I didn't know if they were actually going to like this or not. Because, like, for me, it's like, okay, cool. Like, these are just a bunch of Christmas lights. Like, You better get good with kids. You're going to be babysitting. I can't wait to babysit Luca. And then uh, we ended up, like, just kind of mulling around there for a little bit. I don't know. I, but I, I, I didn't know if they were going to like it, and it turned out they loved it. That's great. I was just like, what's going good. on here? You did good. Yeah. And so then uh, I went out to dinner. Uh, woke up the next day. Watched a little footy. But we had to. Uh, I had the pleasure of doing something that everyone wants to do uh, over the holidays on a Saturday, and I got to uh, go to a car dealership with Sally for a really long time. So that was really fun and just completely burned away my entire Saturday. Ooh. Oh, Dude. she texted me. Yeah, she, she used me as a reference. Yeah, she was going to use you as a reference. Did she really get the car that she said she said she got? The Ford F one fifty King Ranch. Did yeah. She? Yeah. No, really. Did she get the one she said? Uh, I don't know what she said she was going to do for you. So. Okay, I won't say it. It's the worst time to go look at a car because it's truck month. Yeah. Everybody's just there, like trying yeah. to take advantage. They just of the want deals. trucks. The sales guy's like, "Are you not? Are you looking for the? There's a truck dealership like right down the road. Why are you here? You just like pass them off." Yeah, it's like, what am, what am I doing here? But then Saturday night, date night, we do what we do every year. Went to Jeffrey's for dinner, right around the holidays. What'd you order, man? We went off. I'll, I'll admit, we went off. Uh, started off with some deviled eggs. You got to hit them with the deviled eggs. And then we dive straight into – Sally did a uh, Caesar salad, and I went straight into oh. table-side lobster bisque. They poured it table-side. Caesar me. salad in 2020. They, okay. pour, they poured it table-side, not to brag too much, but, wow. you know, yeah, it was swag. Uh, and then your boy got the filet. I had to do it to him. You did Six it. ounce? I actually got an eight ounce. Oh, that's big boy shit. Mm-hmm. Damn. Mm-hmm. How would you finish it all? I ate it. I cut it up and I ate it. It's eight ounces yeah. of steak. That's a half a pound. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that. I like to get the bone-in stuff because it just jacks the price up with limited. So does T-bone. Yeah. T-bone. Oh, my steak because is too salty. Because it jacks the price up with limited difference. Salty steak. I don't yeah. understand. This steak is too salty. That's how he fucking sounded that night. God. Jesus. Dude, and then your boy woke up yesterday and he just went off. <clears throat> Watched the Man U game, hung out a little bit, drank some coffee, had a little tea. Well, you drink. I drink coffee as well. You had coffee and tea. Pretty yeah. much the last uh, mm-hmm. 360 days. And then I, then I went to uh, finish up my Christmas shopping, which was truly, truly nice. So I'm all done with that. How many dubs did you get? Dubs. Like, like. Did Christmas you eat shopping? a W? Did you eat a W? Like Christmas shopping? No, like Dave and I both got dubs. I got a, me and me and you dub yesterday. I texted y'all to watch <laughs> the game. Ended up being six two. Oh, Super dude, I, I, game. I texted. And that's through. a goal every ten minutes. Like that's great. You're right. That, that's my, my biggest hang-up. Did anybody do a bicycle kick? No, one ever no bicycle kicks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did, what about a knuckleball? Anybody kick a knuckler? A toe punch. Shut one. the fuck Like up. a knuckle puck? But no one a, says that. Can you do that with a soccer? You can. You can knuckle a soccer it's ball. It's a very yeah. different shape I can a knuckle puck. a soccer ball. You want to see, wanna see it? Is a it toe punch knuckles. And dance all over the place? It dances everywhere. That's tight. It's very tight, yeah. Yeah, the second I learned how to do that, it's all I wanted to do in life. Turns out I wasn't good enough to do that for a living, though. You've been toe punching life this whole time. Knuckle puck's not an actual thing, though, right? You no, can't do no, that. No, knuckle puck's bullshit. You can knuckle a soccer ball, though. Yeah. I could do it. You can knuckle no, a you baseball. Couldn't. You couldn't do it. Oh, I know that. You should just be dancing and diving. Should we move on to our next segment? I'm kind of excited for this. 
That's not how it sounds at all. It, uh, you're right. So Brett's not in the studio today. You're, you guys aren't going to hear from Brett until R&B radio tomorrow. Are y'all doing R&B? Possibly doing R&B tomorrow. But Brett did drop some presents off at the studio for us. He Do did. you guys want to go through and open these one by one? Sure. Randy, if Even you want to grab that one. microphone, you got your present too. If you want to you want to toss that mic up in your face and we can make that happen. Do you turn his mic up? Who yeah. wants to go first? Say hello, Randy. Hello, I'm... Randy. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Just go first so oh, we can hate take that, that mic yeah. away. Yeah, I think Randy should go first. All right. All right first up is young Randy. Yeah, you you want to do it on You got to start with the youngest person All that's right. going to whine if they're like, got, "Oh, can I, I open mine yet?" Don't worry. I got a little webcam. Not that close to the mic. Let's see what he got me. He got me some kooky biking socks. Oh. They have little rabbits on them. Show them. Show those them the folks. What makes socks? those biking? Because oh. they're, they're, they got Oh, they're bicycles. bikers. Oh. oh, yeah. Those are nice socks. Just just FYI. Is that they're Merino? Cole Smith. Merino wool? Yeah. Those are nice socks. Dude, I love a good pair of socks. So don't socks. wear them biking. I hope that's what I got. They're made I in do Italy. Too. Dave, you ever heard of it? Prego. What's the brand? Prego. Paul, Paul Smith. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds very Italian. Yeah, man. <laughs> Paul Smith. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. <laughs> have to come over for some ghoul. That's very nice of Brett. Those are cool, man. Thank you, Brett. Those are tight. You're, you're a bike guy. You like you like to ride your bike around and shit. You strike like me as a guy who would wear by, fun socks to a simple. wedding under your suit. Yeah. yeah you damn right. And like crazy suspenders underneath no. his tux. No. He was laughing no. the party, that old Randy. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Brett. Oh, this guy's here to party. Look at the suspenders. They're crazy. Dude. Six <laughs> suspenders. <laughs> Didn't you wear some kind of dope suspenders to your wedding? You wore something. Oh, I had suspenders at my wedding. But somebody, it was at maybe Lily's. You were wearing some different Oh, suspenders. at Lily's, yeah, because I was a groomsman. We all had to wear these, like, uh, Mexican-themed suspenders. They were tight. I wore some at mine, but no one ever saw them. I never took my jacket off. I felt like I was too, like... I felt I felt invincible in my jacket, so I never... You didn't really go jacket off. off at your wedding? No, I didn't. I don't know why. Um, but I was wearing some suspenders that need to get, get in play again because I loved them. Bring them back. Scottish tartan. Just beautiful. Well, guys, I, I hate to do this, but I'm, gonna, I'm going to open this, and I don't know what it could possibly be. Yeah, based on the shape of yours, Dave, I don't know what it could be. What is this? <laughs> I'm going to give the folks at home the, the, the full effect. I hope it's a uh, – well, we'll see. Did you get a mounted duck head? Just open the damn present, yeah, open David. It, dude. What's your problem? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Show us. Show us your face. Show us your hat. Oh, oh shit. We got we got golf Dave. Smathers and Branson. That David is a, Ruff. That is Good, actually great golfer. Really, really sharp. This is tight. How about that? Brett is a one I mean, thoughtful Brett, dude. I was thinking these were going to be like. Say thank you to Brett. Hang on. I, I was thinking these were going to be. I don't know. Like, I like handmade, a, ho- like kind of. Bits. I thought it was gonna be Paradox. Paradox Brewery. I, I had. I was kind of thinking that too. I would have been fine with that. This is a very nice hat. P a r a d o x. Yeah, go check them out. My next. Are we going clockwise? It's very cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good looking hat. That's a good looking hat. You're gonna. Dave Ruff's gonna get some some stuff. Out seeing, of it. If I had gotten that hat, I wouldn't be upset at all. Just You'll saying. be seeing a lot of this hat. I like that. Yeah, Brett got me socks as well. I didn't get. Oh shit! I don't know why he got me these socks. <laughs> But these socks have those a those look very nice. These have a a frog with a with mushrooms on them, Dylan. Oh, that's oh. because you get you get high. Do I? You I thought I didn't froggy. burn. Wait, toad venom plus shrooms. That's like very trippy. If you think about it. Far out. These Will. are very Wilmon socks. I'm those gonna. Are, those are cool. Tide's gonna socks. be trying to get these from me. Don't let him, dude. Is he just giving me socks? Is like, is this is this kind of a personal dig? Because you're a sock guy. Yeah. <laughs> Do you look like a sock? I'm going. Did you say thank you yet? What's Randy giggling about over here? Not Does he I, still have a mic on? I'm going. Turn his mic off. Mine are also socks. He's being such a dick. And mine have dinosaurs on them. Oh, oh shit. The homie's going to love these. Oh, mad cute. Mad cute. Thank you, Brett. That's very thoughtful. Parks is going to love these, but uh, he can't wear them yet because they're too big. So your, your boy's going to wear them instead. Wow. I can't believe you're going to pass down the gift of socks to your wow, son. Wow, yeah, not. dude. They're for guy. me. He, he, no, you're never going to give those to Parks He's not ever? getting his little grubby little hands Nobody on Nobody wants your smelly-ass socks, Dylan. David. You guys have awesome. me to thank for these gifts, by the way. Why is that? You can thank Brett, but you have me to thank. These are very cool. Because Brett said that he saw, the, he saw the, 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 the frog socks were available, and he said that he, he had to get to a gift for everybody instead of just me. I wonder why they've got the hat, we got the socks. 
These are awesome. I guess it's, he knows I needed it. Thank you, Brett. Very you, I feel like you have a million hats. Dude, I do, but I only wear – I have three or four that I wear. <clears throat> no, but you go three or four, like, f- through phases. It's better than me who has one that he wears, and he has 100 hats. You do have a good hat collection. It's kind of annoying, honestly. Yeah, you don't even wear hats, dude. Why don't you start offloading those to me? I'll at least wear them. I'll let you know when I go through them and donate. Maybe I'll do that this week. Let's do a trade. Let's I've do a hat time. swap. Hat swap with the boys. Dude, whole squad swapping hats? How do I de wrink how do I de wrinkle this? You have to wear it. Wear it, you fucking dumbass. Put it on your dumbass head. What if my head's tiny? Idiot. My, this is a good hat. My head is tiny. That is a really good looking hat. Congratulations on I'm your playing, hat. I'm uh, playing playing Wednesday morning, so maybe I'll wear it on the course, the golf course that is. Will and I are also playing Wednesday. Playing the uh, Texas Rangers golf club. Wow. Yeah. It's it's not like a yeah, exclusive Dean Palmer thing. out there just like I hope up. you hit it pro Steve. far. That's pretty good, bro. Rusty Greer's out there just like Ruben Sierra. Like you can a, you can donate to charity and it'll hit a long drive. Leo Franco's you. the He's got that Marshall. Jim Furyk ass swing. Yeah. Steve Bouchel's out there manning the third hole. Mm-hmm. Did you guys Juan see that Tiger Gaunt. Woods' kid was playing golf this weekend? No, I completely missed that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, no one volume shot on that at all. That kid has a gorgeous swing. And oh, here we go. We gotta put that on the uh, too much dip rundown. Yeah. 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 What thank I like about it though, dude. Is that, hey, yeah, thank you, Brett. This swing's better than mine. Oh. I wish I had Charlie Woods' swing. Ugh. How much Ugh. fun is that gonna be if he's like legit, legit though? Really fun. You know. Really fun. There's um. It would be it would be weird if he did not end up having a like phenomenal amateur and collegiate career. 0.5 PGA Tour wins. Are you taking the over under for Charlie Woods right now? Oh, I'm mashing the over. Over. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure, because I'm hitting that over hard. I mean, he, he's he's set up. He, there's. I mean, he's set up for. He's got it all. Yeah. But he's, he's got the jeans. He's got the swing. He's, he's got a good teacher. He's got a. Te- he lives with yep. Tiger Woods. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is he gonna have the um, the hunger, the drive? It's hard to say. Because he's not exactly coming up out the mud. You know what I mean. That's that's very true. His dad's very wealthy. Yeah, yeah. Tiger Woods has had a, a nice financial run. His, you gotta think his dad's bringing in at least six figs. I think he's yeah. got the drive, the chip, and the pop. You guys want to talk about headspace real quick? <laughs> Life can be stressful even under normal circumstances. Twenty twenty has challenged even the most difficult of times. You need to stress. You need stress relief that goes beyond quick fixes, and that's Headspace. Headspace is your daily dose of mindfulness in the form of guided meditations in an easy-to-use app. You know, it's the, one of the only meditation apps advancing the field of mindfulness and meditation through clinically validated research. Think about that. Oh, yeah. You guys want to hear a true story? True story. I've been having trouble sleeping lately. I've been getting up at like 3.30 a.m. like every single night and pretty much Dude. staying awake till 4.30. It's the witching So hour. I told Sally, I was like, I got to put some some headphones, like maybe some Raycons next to our beds so that I can just toss on a meditation. Last night, I was up. I started reading about the next thing we're going to talk about, but I was like, man, I would really like to go to sleep right now. What'd I do? Tossed in my headphones, did a little headspace. Snoozing. Damn. Your boy was snoozing. Knocked you out, huh? Feeling Dude, good. shut that brain off. I'm telling you. I know. I know. Headspace's approach to mindfulness can reduce stress, improve sleep like it did for me, boost focus, and increase your overall sense overall sense of well-being. Headspace is backed by 25 published studies on its benefits with over 600,000 five-star reviews and over 60 million downloads. You have to think that's a lot of downloads for that app. Uh, Headspace makes it easy for you to build a life-changing meditation practice with mindfulness that works for you on your schedule anytime, anywhere. You deserve to feel happier, and Headspace is meditation made simple. Go to headspace.com slash circling. That's headspace.com slash circling for a free one-month trial with access to Headspace's full library of meditations for every situation. This is the best deal offered right now, so head to headspace.com slash circling today. Can we talk about Martin Shkreli? Oh. We ha- I already read about it in Micah's Read of the Week. God. That means Ma- Micah was up headspace. against it, putting together that, that Read of the Week, if he got the Shkreli news in there. He got it in, man. Snuck it in. You don't think he's ever done anything wrong, right, Dylan? Stop. Stop. No. Hey, you guys man, are- he's just a capitalist, bro. Dude, he's a pharma bra. He's a pharma yeah, This guy bra, stinks. I, uh, he is someone that I have kind of – I just haven't thought about 
in a year or two. Mm-hmm. Since we, I think we kind of talked about it maybe back in the day when he was originally. I remember he, he acquired the um, unreleased Wu Tang album. He did. He did. And that was the last time I thought about this person. Yeah. And now he's in jail, I think, for like three and a half years or something like that. What was the official charge on this dude? Uh, money laundering. He was caught money laundering and uh, fraud. This guy stinks. Yeah. It had nothing to do with his actual – I don't think it had anything to do with the actual, like, jacking up the price of the, right. of the pharmacy stuff. But, yeah, he got in trouble. Yeah, for price some... gouging, very necess- – you know, very necess- – what? Huh? I don't know. The word of – it didn't work there. Do you want me to intervene right now and start talking? <laughs> Price gouging, uh, drugs that people very much need. Is what yeah, I'm like to say. You know, cancer yeah. patients like, and such. Yeah, life saving stuff. Two yeah. securities fraud charges and one count of conspiracy to commit securities fraud. Love that. Love that. Good for so him. So he was basically trying to deceive a security company. Interesting. Interesting. It's re- you don't mess Do with that. Do you think that. he's ever been to our office before? There's no way he's scamming these folks here. Mm-mm. Not no at way. all. So an article was written by Elle magazine that interviewed a woman who previously worked for Bloomberg who now is a- allegedly romantically involved with them. Right. Have you guys read into this at all? Oh, yeah. I'm waiting for you to just drop it on me. Dylan, no, didn't no. you used to like, own a magazine, Elle magazine? Because you were like the expert on taking L's. Dude, I got two dubs last night. We you did get about? two dubs. I'm sorry. True. So... This woman came out and said that she'd been dating him for a little bit. So they started, she started as a reporter for Bloomberg and she started dating, or not dating him, but talking to him a lot and gaining his trust in in her reporting. And so she was with him a lot. And then they started developing a romantic relationship that came to a head in uh, prison where they could only make out. So it didn't come to a head. They only made out, Dave. (laughs) Stop. And now she's just absolutely simping for him. He's even gone as far. He's ghosted her at this point. He's like, please get away from me. But now there's a whole expose in Elle magazine just saying like, oh, my God, I'm still I'm so in love with this guy. This woman's an absolute psycho. Wait, she wrote about her. No, someone else wrote about her. But she also has written like a she wrote a or wants to write a book and she wrote a screenplay that she sold the rights to or something. So she's just absolutely like gone over this fucking guy over this guy over this this guy guy sucks. Do you guys want some nice little uh, things from the, the article that I screenshot? He's not even hot, dude. He's like a little He's not, dweeb. Dude. He's not hot. For reference, he increased the price of a life-saving drug by 5,000% overnight. It's a pretty big that was the up. That was the uh, thing that really landed him in the uh, crosshairs of, of most society. That does piss people off normally. 5,000%. Yeah. Do you guys want to hear some excerpts from the uh, thing? Please. This wasn't like a new revelation, but it was something that got brought to light that always entertains me. When they were selecting the jury, it says even the jury selection had been uneventful, with potential jurors dismissed for saying that Shkreli was the face of corporate greed and that, quote, he disrespected the Wu-Tang Clan. I just like the idea. I've always enjoyed that quote, that he's disrespected the Wu-Tang Clan, just because I like imagining somebody going up to uh, like a judge and just being like, no, I can't be a juror in this. You disrespect the Wu Tang. You don't disrespect the Wu. Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. Exactly. Well said, Dave. Uh, Your Honor. Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. Have you seen the meme? It's uh, Saul, Saul Goodman, and he's like with his client, and he says, "Your Honor, my client is just built different." <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. That's pretty good. Uh, do you want another one? Yeah. He told her he was one of the only people allowed, or that she was one of the only people allowed to visit him in prison and mused about running for office or starting a podcast when he got out. I love the dreams of Martin Shkreli at this point. You got to think there's a pod in his future. She said that belief in himself, although it may seem delusional at times, it draws you in. Oh my God. I don't even know if everything he was saying was true, but maybe like 1% is, and that's awesome on its own. Really? So if you lie 99% of what, about what you're saying, that's. Starting a podcast, like, isn't that hard? No. He you, could probably do it from prison if he wanted to. You just need the internet, really. If he was a real one, like uh, Billy McFarland, McFarland, then he would have just done, done it from prison. Yeah. You could smuggle in a microphone. Do you want another one? Mm-hmm. This is the first time they kissed in prison. A realization hit her. In the visitor's room, she said, I told Martin I loved him. And he told me he loved me, too. She asked if she could kiss him. He said yes. The room smelled of chicken wings, she remembers. Okay. What if we kissed in prison? <laughs> it smells like chicken wings. 
Like chicken. Like that's what you remember. Don't tell Elle magazine that's what you remember about this because that's what they're going to write in the article. You can't say it smelled like chicken wings. (laughs) This is already a mega tough scene. What a weird detail. Yeah, it's a very – well, they say scent is the strongest sense tied to memory. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. It's very true. It is. First kiss, chicken wings. like chicken wings. Sounds like a pretty dope dope scenario. Want to hear how dedicated this woman was to her job? Says She said, he sounded ragged and fragile, and I got concerned that he would commit suicide because of all this stuff was happening all at once. But still, her job came first. She pre-wrote an obituary for Shkreli just in case he did, in fact, kill himself. Okay. Pre-wrote an obituary? Um, Can you imagine dating someone? Like, the fact that he that even dated psychotic. her after she did this is crazy. Do you think that's a that's commonplace? Not not to uh, not to hook up and and try to marry your your um, your subject you're you're writing about, but like if you work for a yes. major out- outlet and there's a celeb who's getting up there, do you have like a pre-written? Just in case, like, oh, like I'm not doing so uh, well. So she worked for Bloomberg. Bloomberg 100 percent so. has a Jeff Bezos pre-written. Like obituary, right? I don't think so. I mean, I'm thinking like if I'm somebody's just... like, you're like, oh man, you're an old. Okay, in that case, probably if if someone's getting really old, and sure, but those those aren't like ESPN always has like sneaky fast like montages for people. I'm like, damn, you got y'all put that montage together pretty quick. You can do that. Do you think all. they have a hit squad? Dude, just died, just so they can launch the content. Like, do you think Blo- Bloomberg has like a? They have an obituary written for Warren Buffett, right? Is he still alive? Yeah, he's like he's old, but dude, they have they have one. Dude, written he's like still, a, he's still he's, moving hella stocks. He's around. a billionaire. Good for him. He's dude. They, the Margaritaville alone has like made him generationally wealthy. Dude, that's so true. I didn't think about that. <sighs> Can you imagine simping for someone like Martin Shkreli? No, Shkreli. It's insane that he's now a he, DJ, right? He's, he's not like, even talking. My to boyfriend, her now. Martin Shkreli. He's not even talking to her anymore. Ever since it came out that she was writing or that she was getting involved with Elle magazine for this, uh, this the other Elle magazine, not Dylan's Elle magazine. Mm-hmm. He's he's just ghosted her, so now he's not even talking to her. And she's still does, just Simp City, over dude. Here? She's still on, she's on Twitter right now, like responding to people, talking about how much she likes him. He does wish her the best in her future endeavors. No one's breaking up like that. That's what he said. What's this young lady's name? Uh, her last name is Smith, spelled S M Y. Oh, is it Smith? Wait, a principal. Smythe. So I think oh. it's Smythe. S M Y T H E. Did she not have a first name? I don't know. <laughs> no, they just call her the Smythe. I just remembered the the article just re- they just referred to her as Sm- Smythe the entire time. Smythe Shkreli. Sm- got any Smythe? God, God's got any Smythe? That's what Shkreli's gonna say when he gets horny in jail. Got any? Sh- got any Smythe? Yeah, she got Smythe. Do you think Shkreli's gonna come out with like t- teardrop tattoos or anything? That'd be He's sick. Gonna- <laughs> That'd be so sick. Filled in or not, though? Hard to say. Yeah. There's something else. You think he got filled in? Too. Filled in means you caught a body, Dave. Oh. Everybody knows that. Dumbass. She divorced her husband for this dude. He's really hot. Over this fucking guy? What if she's just a big Wu Tang fan? She's listened to the album. Yeah, I'm sure she's really into Wu Tang. Oh, mm-hmm. Christy Smythe. That's her name. Christy. Hey, Christy, you're crazy, girl. She's, dude, she's nuts. Oh, she's got crazy eyes. She's got, like, yeah. Like, she's slashed a tire before. You know what I mean? Like, when she listens to Goodbye Earl, she's like, I get it. Like this. Shkreli's in the trunk? She's, yeah, she's like, they spitting. <laughs> <laughs> Martin Shkreli. These, these motherfuckers spitting. <laughs> these motherfuckers spitting. <laughs> That's a good meme. I will listen to his podcast. Oh, will you? For uh, content purposes. I'll do it, too. I'm fine with that. I want to hear his take on the market and the stonks. What if he's just frauding you? That's what I'm, I'm wanting to, I want to know. Well, I'm going to take everything he says to do. I'm going to fade it, assuming that he is trying to defraud people. Oh, okay. So it's just, yeah. That's good. Think That's about good. it. I don't have anything more on Shkreli. <sighs> I'm, I'm glad to have my... My Shkreli, Shkreli update, though. Yeah, you're welcome. Don't simp over Martin Shkreli. Just don't ladies. do it. Simp well, over dope dudes. Should we do this Christmas and fun presented by Miller High Life? We're just doing combo platter episode today. <coughs> this Christmas and fun? This Christmas and fun, dude. Yeah. This Christmas and fun. I gave you my heart. Oh, it's not fun. your cue. I'm Q, sorry. I d- yeah, I didn't mean to get Dylan on the it's same train. It's not your cue, chief. Last Christmas. 
I gave this you is supposed to be this weekend of fun. I gave Maybe you my they're, they're no longer going to sponsor because of you. High Life Next brings the pride day. to the simple things in life, which clearly is not Dylan's voice. <laughs> Dude, I just did a, a sick sponsor plug. You're not going to give me credit for it. Miller High Life is an unpretentious quality beer with refreshing champagne-like tiny bubbles. And we're, we're coming up to Christmas season. People like little champagne. But some people like the champagne of beer. Oh, buddy. Mm, I simp for Miller High Life. I do, too. I do, too. Buddy hit me up this weekend. He was like, he's like, how much Miller High Life are you drinking these days? I was like, you know, times are good. A respectable <laughs> amount. Times are good. Things are good. You got a cele- good year. Yeah, you got to celebrate the wins of everyday life, of which we have many. With Miller High Life, big or small, there are moments worth celebrating every day. Celebrate with Miller High Life. The champagne of beers, a quality beer within everyone's reach. And I will say this. On New Year's Eve, when you have a Miller High Life in hand, maybe a nice lady on your arm, Cheers to founding the company in 1903. Wow. Mm-hmm. It's a big anniversary coming up for them. Very exciting stuff. Ooh. Mm-hmm. 118 years. Think about that. So that's Wash has been around time. for way shorter than that. Well, all three of you guys, will you guys come with me and toast on New Year's Eve with Miller High Life at midnight? Um, can we do it virtually? Because I will be in Colorado. E-toast. Yeah. Sure. I would a love digital to, toast. I would love to. Let's do it. E-toast. <laughs> we'll do a Riley toast. Miller High Life, the champagne of beers, a quality beer within everyone's reach. Celebrate responsibly. Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Dylan, what are you getting into? <clears throat> Thank you for asking, Will. This doesn't just have to be Christmas, by the way. This this should just probably be the entire year. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, so uh, the next four days, like I said, I won't have parks. Unfortunately, sad boy season rolls on. Uh, playing playing golf with Will on Wednesday. Maybe we aren't going to even play. We're playing, yeah, man. we're playing. You don't even have a tee time. Don't play, dude. Yeah, we're playing, dog. Like, don't. There's hella tee times. I signed online this morning. Um, and then Friday I get Parks back, which is Christmas, and so we're doing like a, our Christmas morning deal on the 26th, actually. So the day after Christmas, having some family over for that. Um, can't wait. We're doing the, another like Christmas meal type thing. We're doing a uh, prime rib. Can't wait. What? What? Say it. Sally's family, they were talking about doing prime rib. Oh, yeah. Or Italian. And I've I oh. obviously voted for prime rib. We're doing Italian. Oh, that's a mistake. I know. Nungs. I know. I don't want to tell you, Will. I will. I'll save it. Anyway, um, so, yep, doing Christmas on uh, the 26th with the little guy. Very, very excited for that. And then on New Year's Eve, your boy's going to... Uh, He's going on a little vacation, going skiing. Oh, shit. Taking, Ski trip. Taking park skiing for the first time ever. Ooh, park cities? I'm really, really hoping that he, he takes to it and he enjoys it because I want, I want to keep going over and over again with the little guy. And uh, this is going to be a big a big moment, a big trip. So be thinking of us, all right? What if he hates skiing? I'm going to be devastated, man, honestly. You're not going to teach him, are you? Uh, he's gonna he's gonna do a lesson. A lot of people were were critical of your technique. They said, "Well, you are a good skier. You you have an old school style, and I just don't want is, you. I don't want him to get made fun of because his dad taught him some like bootleg way that to ski. Super dope technique, David. All right. Who is the better skier? You or Will? It's obviously me. Anyway, it's me, dude. Can't wait, man. It's me. I have the internet behind me. And as then well. uh, I'll be hitting what the if ground running. Secretly, give him park skiing lessons. Mm-hmm. I'll be hitting the ground running in 2021, ready to just. Put out some dope content. You Sick. Know what I'm saying? Are you saying like it's podcast year? It's going to be podcast year. Fuck. That's a lot a of people say the third year. Fifty-three is when, minutes into the pod. A lot of people say the third year is when the company really starts to hit its stride. So, look, look out. That's all I'm saying. If we can make it through the pandemic, we can make it through anything. People will say that too. Yeah. That's pretty much it, folks. Very cool. What's the D-man getting into? Oh, we have a dinner too. Oh, we do have a dinner. Next week. I'll handle the dinner. Did you make a res? We yeah, made a res, we got a res. Where? Fonda. Never heard of it? Mm. you never even been. Dumbass. Yeah, didn't I go with you? No, I would never go with you. I've been to Fonda. No, yeah. you're thinking of the time that uh, he and Brett went you. alone and did not invite me. Even oh, though I've I was, been. I was literally sitting at home doing nothing. And I've been. I didn't know you needed a reservation for that. It seems like that. You don't. Or, I think it helps. It's a very it does high help. I've been there. When it's, it's a high-end establishment. Is it? It's like Matt's Plus. Are you kidding? Fuck off, dude. That's a bad no, take. No, it, that's not an insult. It's just, it is like a nicer version of Matt's. It's it's, it's so good. much the different, The food's dog. completely different. It does hit it's different. not even Tex-Mex. No, but you know what I mean. 
What, what, tell us about your stupid fucking whatever. You done, Dylan? Yeah. Um, barring some uh, bad test results, I'll be going back to Duncanville tomorrow. And uh, wow, this is one of those times when you don't want things to be positive, right? Oh, right. Um, but yeah, we'll be doing that. Going up, going to spend a few days there playing golf Wednesday morning. And Will, um, we are doing Italian Christmas Eve per tradition. And uh, I believe prime rib Christmas. So, mm. best of both worlds. Must be nice, man. Even though a, uh, a, guy, a friend of a friend once told me a, a decade ago that prime rib is for peasants. I love prime rib. Who said that? A guy, a friend of a friend. You need an un, unfriendly Yeah, friend anyone who says that's just an idiot. I love prime rib. Prime rib is phenomenal. Right? Yeah, it's great. I don't know, I don't know why people make fun of it. It's so good. It's, I don't, you know what? I don't care. Um, nothing major, man. That is such a try hard. He's got an archer avatar on Twitter. It's very possible. Hmm. But yeah, nothing, nothing major, man. Next week, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be. I don't know, hanging around. Duncanville plays in Belton. Uh, third round of the playoffs against uh, Spring. And that'll be, you know, I'm not gonna go or anything, but I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be following it. You could go. Belton's not that far, just north of Georgetown. Why don't you go watch the Duncanville game? Okay, I'll go. All right, let's do it. Yeah, I don't have much in the hopper. Sally's working pretty much the entire two weeks between now and when we're back in the studio, like full time. Uh, and so I'm just chilling. We're doing uh, Christmas with Sally's family, or Christmas Eve, I'm sorry. Probably spend the night at her parents' house, waking up, doing a little present opening there. We're doing, as we said, Italian food. And then on uh, Christmas Day, we're heading back to our crib, doing a little me and Sal Christmas time with a little rosy action in there. Aww. Your boy's preparing duck for dinner that night. Not prime rib. You're really doing it. Yep. We're doing duck. Quack. And then the week after, really got nothing in the hopper. Um, as far as everything goes, like, I have no clue what I'm doing. New Year's Eve, no freaking clue. I'm like, I might be a wild boy on New Year's Eve. Just do something crazy. No, I, I literally don't know. Drink a couple high lives. Yeah. Um, New Year's Eve, no clue. Uh, I don't know. I think... What day is my birthday? Hard to say. Let's look at the, let's look at a twenty twenty one calendar. I think it's on a Monday. Better not. If it's on a Monday, no dude, Sunday. Then your boy's out. We am sure? I, am I right? I don't know. I'm really bad with that kind of stuff. No, it's on a Saturday, dude. That's big for your boy. That means that I'm probably gonna get a dinner off on that Saturday. But I don't really have any any big plans this this Christmas. I'm just looking forward to uh, winding down a little bit, opening some gifts, giving some gifts, just doing all the above. I'm pretty. I'm pretty stoked for the gifts that I will be giving this year. Me too. I told Sally this is this is one of those years where I'm more excited to give things than I am to receive them. I am. I might be transcending into cool uncle after <gasps> this Christmas. I did that on Friday. Really? Yeah. Because of the lights thing. Yeah. All of the lights. Are you? Te- yeah, I guess you are technically their uncle. Wow. Thank you for insulting my unclehood. God, do you guys want to do some breaking news? Did Brett hit you up? Oh yeah, it's Did a little, really? choose, little choose your adventure here. Let that's me a, choose. That's a Brettism. Let me choose. All right, we have Russian spies. Yes, Ariana Grande. No, or ratio alert. Ooh, let's go ratio. That's always fun. Oh, okay. So you don't want to go with Russian spies, Mister? We'll, we'll get jump back the to gun. It. We'll get back to it. Who got ratioed? Uh, per Brett, this chick, Liz Mayer. He wrote that, not me. Apparently, she thought she'd try to dunk on local journalists on a Monday morning, and folks aren't thrilled by her supposed salary numbers. I saw this. I have no clue what this is about, so I'm just clicking in. Uh, She said, one problem contributing to the demise of local media is very minimal output of some local reporters. When you file, like, one story a week, it's hard to justify high five-figure or low six-figure salaries, and you're not doing much to attract readers. Too little content. She said, too few readers equals too few advertising and too little advertising dollars no one wants to have to file three things a day and that's not the necessary standard but finally a couple things a week one of one or more of which is the same thing your competitors also filed is death i don't know what any of this means or why this is breaking news what's the deal here uh she is getting ratioed pretty heavily she is but that's i don't know i don't really i'm not even competent to comment comment on so she's just she wants six figures for just doing one thing a week i'm just looking for like a, a weather person that just keeps my attention 
you know, doing bits, rolls up their sleeves, really gets into it, maybe undoes their tie, or if they're a lady, takes the jacket off. Okay, she, keep let's calm down. I'm just saying, I like to see that they have a passion about the weather, the Someone's same one age. that I have. She's an Arsenal fan. This makes all the sense in the world. No wonder she's fucking p- pissed off right now. She's about to get relegated. Oh. Ooh, that's tough. She's putting out major Elizabeth Holmes vibes. She got she's Elizabeth Holmes with a Karen haircut. That's not a compliment. Is she uh is she a journalist herself? She is. She is. She's a comm strategist. A what strategist? I don't know. She apparently graduated <laughs> from some place called Blunt in 2016. What's oh, that? Damn. Sick, Smokes dude. on a bitch. <laughs> oh no, maybe that's no, never mind. I'm an idiot. That's not a graduation. That was a campaign she worked hey, on. Hey, tell me about these Russian spies. James man. Blunt's campaign. Oh, Journalist, you're, you're unelectable. <laughs> what's up with the Russian spies, dog? You want to hear what's up with your Russian spies? Yeah. This dude, by the way, I'm reading this verbatim from Brett. I have no clue what these stories are. This dude, Alexei <laughs> Navalny, who got poisoned, duped a state-employed spy into revealing how they did it. Hint, his underwear. <laughs> Whoa. Mindblown.gif. I'm clicking that title. Uh, yeah, he apparently got poisoned through his underwear. A Russian agent sent to tail opposition leader Alexei Navalny was revealed how he was po- they revealed how he was poisoned in August with a lethal nerve agent planted in his underpants. Not ideal. That seems like a, a top three bad place to get poisoned. Yeah. Just get poisoned yeah. right in the dick. Don't want that. Mm-mm. No, thank you. Get that. Poison dick, you know. That girl is poison. Did you hear about Ariana Grande? You know, Grande is big in Espanol. Yeah, but do you know that's not how you're supposed to say it? A lot of people don't know that. You know that about her? Grande? It's apparently gr- like Ariana no Grande. No shit. She said this on an award show one time, and I legitimately couldn't tell if it was a bit or not. She probably just decided that, that that's how you're going to say it to make herself like feel different. Um, that's what little kids do in like kindergarten. From what I understand, what people can do whenever they want. It's Italian, not Mexican. It's Italian. She's Italian. Is she? Unless like her mother, unless her mother has some sort of. I believe that's true. Dave. That would make sense. I believe then. that's true. That would make. But sense. the Sorry, weird thing it. is the if the classic or like the actual Italian way to to say the word, what she calls grande, is grande. Grande. So that is the Italian way. Oh, okay. Unless like the American way and the way that they the Italian her. Immigrant, you know, grandparents came Russian. over is Grandi. Okay. Grandi. Which may be it, but that uh, that's why it's very confusing. Anyway, I still think most people think that she's not Italian, but she is. But anyway, it's not that important. I don't really care. Well, she's engaged to a dude who looks just like uh, Pete Davidson, but as if Pete Davidson never had any, like, personal problems. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's lame. Yeah, she's dating, like, yeah, she's dating, like, bootleg pete davidson now it's just bad hmm. i don't get it he that guy kind of looks like natalie portman he's a real estate professional okay oh so he's probably very we wealthy link. we should yeah. link and build he's in the brotherhood dylan nice that's very chill wait 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 is she that is, her tattoo or his that's her tattoo she's a very pretty young lady very tiny nice chin on her she got pipes dave she, she does sing. she, she doesn't really sing. enunciate she needs to that do another stuff. uh soul cycle song Whatever, remember? Oh, about walking side to side after going to Soul Cycle. Yeah. Did she do Meet Me in the Middle? Is that her? Yep. yep. Mm-hmm. It's one of her hits. One of her biggest hits. Right. Yep. That's all I got. Good, Good stuff. eyebrows. Brow game stupid. I enjoyed this episode. I Who too. the fuck is this guy? He's a real estate professional, Dave. How do they meet? I don't care. It just doesn't even matter. I'm like, fucking thirty six. He sold her a sick condo <laughs> in Malibu. <laughs> a nice three two. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Good for him, man. He, uh, hey, good for him. I, he's in shock I, right now. He's like, what? He's like, when's this going to end? This gotta, I don't have much time left. Well, keep in mind she was also engaged to uh, Pete Davidson, so not all things work out in the long run for her every single time. Well, yeah, before that, rest in peace, Mac Miller. Were, were they engaged? I don't know if they were engaged. I don't know either. She likes she likes her a bad boy, but this guy doesn't He doesn't look like a bad boy. No, this guy's a twerp. This guy looks like he delivers your newspaper why, in the morning. Why is she about to stone cold stun yeah. him in this morning? <laughs> the fucking milkman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This guy this guy works for the geek squad. He shows up to fix your fucking <laughs> yeah. he'll fix your modem in twenty yeah. minutes. Have you tried restarting it? Well, shut the fuck up. <laughs> why are you still working here, dude? You're married to Ariana Grande. <laughs> yeah, go work for college, college hunks, a moving company. Yeah. What are you doing? Did y'all ever eat Grandies growing up? Nah, dude. 
I know Will did, and there's no way they had I have no clue what you're even talking about. Yeah, they don't have those up there. They had good chicken fried steak. Did they? You'd know. Chicken man, chicken fried steak The guy. fact that you still claim chicken fried steak being your last meal is just crazy. Dude, I love chicken fried You've steak. You've never eaten it once. It's a comfort food, You've man. literally never had it. Okay. Okay. Shall we? Is this our last? This is not our last episode, so we, we don't have to. We've got one more episode of the year. Okay. So I, Next can't, week. I can't wish the good things to the backers. You can still do that. I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas. How about that? Wow. I do yeah. too. Of course. Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy we Hanukkah. Really, this is our last free episode of the year. Oh, yeah? So we can wish everybody a Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, and thank everyone for their 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 continued support. Yes, thank you. We we very much appreciate you guys. This is a... I'm being sincere. Very much appreciate you guys. And a big congratulations to all our listeners who acquired superpowers today. Yeah? Yeah. Very big. Shouts to very them. Very big. Very cool. Mm-hmm. KJ's already paid off. You see... You see. Dude, I... He came in so hot. KJ, yeah. li- I'll let him explain. He's, he's but KJ it. walked into the studio with something literally in his bag today. He's like seeing through walls and shit. It's incredible. It's crazy. Yeah. I thought he was bearing gifts. Me too. And uh, no, he just got, he acquired something very, very dope. You have to listen to Too Much Dip podcast, which Eddie records Ogre. right after loud. this. Sorry. Yeah. We'll talk more about that. Bye. Bye.